Okay, good morning. It is 9.23 in the a.m. Um, what am I gonna do today? I am going to What was my main book before I Okay. Actually, because you know what I realized? I got five potential main books, and one of them has become my main book, and then one of them be has become my side book, but I don't want this one to graduate to my main book whenever I'm done with this one. I thought that this one would take me more time, but it's been two and a half days, and I'm almost done, and it's a good feeling because I'm like, yay, now I get to read another book, but I'm like, ah! you know, mm -hmm. what? You know? So now I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I'm just like fuck. Um, what do I do today? Um, at least I know which books I'm taking with me because that takes at least an hour of time out of my getting out of the house objective. Um, oh, I need to go to the coffee shop and... What do I need to do? Oh, I need to go to the coffee shop and, oh, and do work. And apply for some more jobs. I want to print out some, I, oh, I want to, oh, this is going to be a big professional development day. Whenever I don't immediately have to find a job and I get to apply to more jobs, I'm like, yes, jobs! Whenever I need a job and I don't have a job, I'm like, fuck. You know, I'm like, oh my God, this is so fucking stressful. So I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to get into the habit of doing things whenever I have, even if I don't have the conviction for them, if it makes practical sense and there is an organic motivation to do it. Because it doesn't have to be like a, okay, I like am doing this right now because X, Y, Z, and this is why I need to get it done. It's like a, or not a, yeah, like I don't have to reframe it as a need for it to have work to get done, you know? Like it has taken me a really long time to be able to actually resonate with that. But like, I'm allowed to just like, wanna do something and roll with it. I feel like every day I structure my day around because I'm so used to playing the catch up game and I still am playing the catch up game on some things, but I've realized all of my immediate needs are met To a degree where it's like I wake up in the morning, I'm not like, how am I going to survive? All of my survival needs, my immediate survival needs are met. So I'm like, I'm allowed to just, yeah. And if I do it, I'm going to come home and give myself another tattoo. So I got this one the other day. I think it's so cute. It's this one. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Why am I doing that? But I love it. And I want to add a little something to it um so that's so awesome I don't know what to do for my other tattoo I don't know um but I think I'm gonna hmm I found the little pause feature on the record so I could just pause it and find my out my stomach is about to start tearing up oh I feel something brewing I feel something brewing. This feels very, very, very off-putting and nefarious because I know that something is going to go terribly wrong. Not certifiably terribly wrong, but like my stomach feels like shit. I'm not even going to lie. Damn it. And I know exactly what it was. I do know exactly what it was. And this makes me so sad because I don't know if I'm going to stop eating it. Uh, damn it. Whatever. Oh, no, this does make me really sad because it was a really good treat. But I already know what I can have in place of it. But I'm like, oh, fuck. It was so good and summer friendly. Damn it. No, it's been freaking me out a lot lately. I have been, like, very, like, I think it's just because I've been sleeping on this damn futon for almost a year. And it's, like, slowly killing me. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I like it because it's practical and it saves space, but I'm so uncomfortable all the time. And it just frustrates me because it's so hard to just deal. I think I'm going to keep it around for if anyone's ever staying at my house and they can't stay on the couch. Um, because then also if I, I'll just put this in the other, oh, I don't want to put it on the other thing. 
I'll just sell it and sleep on the fucking floor. I think low-key that's what I'm gonna do. I think I just need to get an air mattress for the time being and just make it work. Like, this isn't, like, of course my favorite thing ever. Like, yay! I'm gonna go get an air mattress and get rid of the only bed that I have that makes feasible sense for me to sleep on. Because in the other room, there's just a more uncomfortable futon. A cheaper, more uncomfortable futon. But it's also like, what? I think I'm gonna wait until it I get to trash trot tonight. It is trash day. Okay, got the hand truck. I need to see if I can borrow one of those red wagons from somebody. I found this like several drawer, like vestibule, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> around the other day it was like around the corner and down the bend. Alright. Around the bend and down the corner. Whatever the fuck. It was really awesome and I liked it a lot, so I brought it back to my house. I haven't cleaned it yet. I'm just thinking out loud. I don't have to justify that. I'm literally just thinking out loud. It's the weirdest thing ever, actually. Like, oh my god, I feel... Ugh, I want to get more used to this because I always, like, sound and feel so apologetic whenever I say this to people. But I'm like, I like talking to myself. And not necessarily having those words received. I love talking to myself in the presence of other people. And it's a way that I feel closer to other people. Um, but it's also like, I understand that not everyone wants to hear talking consistently. But it that's the stressful thing for me. Relying on other people to identify their capacities whenever I am, yeah, like being myself. Because so many people will not identify their capacities. Because I used to be one of these people. I'm speaking from personal experience um but I used to just not identify my capacities and let like things people do annoy me whenever I'm like this is actually a really good potential friend I don't know why I'm letting myself get annoyed whenever I literally could just communicate how it is that I feel and extend the longevity of this bond because I'm able to actually identify the times that just my conversational capacities don't meet like yeah someone else's inclination to have a conversation so it's like okay okay this is stressful like letting other people actually decide whenever they can call it a day but i've realized it is not supposed to be it is kind of as much as it is something that i am trying to do to help um yeah that i'm thinking of because i want other people to feel more comfortable it's also like I don't get to identify people's capacities for them. I don't get to, yeah, to be like, oh, they're sick of hearing me talk. I don't get to make that decision for people. So I get to identify, hey, just let me know if you are not in this space to, or like, because that feels very institutional. I feel like that's why scripting helps with me a lot. I used to like steer away from it because I'm like, oh, that's so disingenuine. But it's not disingenuine to find an authentic feeling and find out how I want to verbally manifest that and use that deliverable in multiple situations because it works in multiple situations. I wish, I need to ask my dear friend Joy because we're the same way and oh my God, I love Joy. This is why I love Joy. Oh, this is why I love Joy. Cause Joy will literally, oh my God, I'll just be like, I don't really want to talk right now and we'll just chill out for hours. But we know because of how our friendship and how, have, yeah. It's just so exciting because I'm like, I can say that and I don't have to stress out and think about it for years to follow. Like, it's like, oh, I'll, I say that to Joy and then we spend like hours. We spend hours the rest of the day with each other. And it's so much fun. It is so much fun. <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to skip that and figure out something else for, or something out for that because I'm like, I like hanging out with people and I want to hang out with more people. But what I cannot do is kill my social battery continually and I've realized I can be around people for hours if I get to identify my social capacities that's why now I start I literally started inviting people over I'm like um silent tea like we drink tea in complete silence and um silence meaning we're talking to ourselves the whole time and it's exciting I actually made a flyer for it um Where's my phone? Yikes. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna... Oh, and this is what I like about waking up early. I can make my adventure with no phone. 
I can just do my adventure with no phone because the days, the sun's still out. But yeah, I made a flyer for it, which was so exciting for me because I'm like, I don't have to sit here and preface to people. Do you guys want me to share the flyer? Oh, I would love to share the flyer. Oh my gosh. And then it's like, you guys can just send that to your friends. And it's like, oh, you already have the precedent to like, just sit there in silence and not talk. Yeah. To each other but to be able to like still converse with yourself and do it in the company of a dear friend um so that's really awesome because i think there's something really really divine about spending time with someone for the sake of having their presence rather than for their presence in conversation and i think it's incredible that's why i really appreciate whenever my friends are like um yeah whenever my friends are like Oh, can we sit in silence? Because it's like, you're sitting with me in silence. Like, you're sitting with me in silence. And that's another thing that I've realized. I'm not allowed to identify other people's capacities for them by, th yeah. Because I, yeah, or like undermining people's ability to identify their own capacities by trying to, have a, um, what's the word? Wait. By trying to identify them for them um, rather than... Yeah, because it's like, it makes me feel more comfortable and trusted in a bond. So I'm like, why wouldn't I give someone else that opportunity to feel trusted and to feel valued in the friendship? Like, yes, it is precarious. And yes, it is taking a leap in a direction that I don't entirely feel comfortable with all the time. But it's like, it will make someone feel more valued and more trusted in our relationship if they are the type of person that is receptive of capacities and if they're not they are not meant to be in my life because I'm a very capacities conscious person I feel like everyone inherently is but it depends on your relationship with receiving and disseminating your capacities that that really is like pivotal within but um yeah <sighs> I'm nervous but I'm gonna f yeah it's, it is nervous stuff. It is nerve-wracking stuff, but it, I'm better for it. I'm definitely a lot better for it. Um, so that's really awesome. But this damn cat is looking at me, and I'm looking at him, and he's looking at me, and I'm looking at him. <laughs> I would foster cats a little bit. That would be awesome. Okay, I'm going to go. Um, I think I have successfully talked myself into comfort. I want to find some cool jacket. What's the weather like today? 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, wow. What a ball. That is so freaking awesome. How the hell do I look at the weather? I see the little giblet. What the fuck do they call it? Gibbet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> a damn widget. That's a damn widget. <laughs> Wait. Oh, whatever. I don't really, if I need to know how the weather is, I'll literally just go outside. I'm not fucking around with that. WWW dot what, bitch? Uh, what are you talking about? Ooh. Whoa, whoa, for the longest time, for the longest. Whoa, for the longest time, for the longest. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm looking for a step team in my surrounding area i thought what oh oh that freaked me out so bad <laughs> i was like what? okay 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 <laughs> let me bags yes it's double double trouble no <laughs> What do I have to go get? Oh, I'm gonna go get up and get on. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna Oh, that is stressful. Not stressful, but I don't like getting up and getting ready without knowing where I'm gonna go. Because I make my outfit in consciousness of what my day's plans are. But whenever I'm actually up and out, it's a lot easier to get taken with the way of things. But I don't wanna wear a backpack today really at all. Yeah, I wasn't feeling inclined to wearing a backpack, but it's also like, 
I do want to get up and get my get on with this work. Uh, okay. How about this? Okay, you know what? I'm going to wear my green backpack. It feels like a green backpack day. And what am I going to wear with my green backpack? Do I wear a dress over jeans today? I've been trying to figure out when I wanted to wear my one dress. I was like, I don't like this, like, blank. So I was like, with jeans? Yes, match. <laughs> lately. Lately. <laughs> but, um... I don't know. I'll figure it out. One step out, one step out, of, one step at a time. Okay. Bye-bye, you guys. I hope you guys have such a good day. Bye.